Hi, I'm Jeff. I've got a little project that I've been meaning to start and it has to do with a camper that we bought probably about 10 years ago. It was a little bit outdated when we purchased the camper, but I'm trying to decide what I want to do exactly with the camper. So this camper is an old 1970s Prowler and it's been sitting outside kind of in the lane of trees and alongside of a shed. So it's got some mildew and moldy areas on it. Um, structurally, it's not in terrible shape. Um, where I guess one option I could use is maybe trying to pressure wash it, clean it up a little bit, make it look good, um, give it a facelift. The other option is uh, tearing it apart, stripping it down, and um, I guess getting it down to the bare bare frame, and then either utilizing the frame as a as a trailer, or selling it as for somebody else to make a trailer on it. As you can see, it's not in the greatest of shape inside. Um, we got cabinet doors; they do not want to stay shut, which that's just a little closer mechanism thing that um, could easily be fixed. But we also have doors that are trying to fall off um, and then the more we dig into it we've got uh, signs of mice and there's just a lot of a lot of issues going on inside of here where I don't think it would be beneficial to try and fix this camper up um, there was a spot right up here the vent that thing opened up and we ended up with a bunch of leaves a bunch of junk inside of here Oh, more signs of mice and cabinet here. Yeah, more signs of mice. And if we come back out here, we got a nice little table here and a pantry. Oh, more mice. So the mice utilize this camper quite a bit. Walnuts. Hmm. My third option is this spring when we bought our meat chickens, we also wanted to expand our flock of laying chickens by, I don't know, basically replacing the ones that we've got. The, the girls that we've got right now are about two years old and they, they're they slowing down a lot. Especially right now, it's uh, they're molting and uh, we're past the summer solstice, uh, so the days are getting shorter. Um, so we wanted to, to replace them. So what we've got here, what we've got here is in a mobile little coop, we've been uh, raising our, we've got three different breeds of chickens here. We've got ISAs, we've got, um, well, I don't remember what the other one is. So we've got our younger chickens, we've got them in this mobile coop here, and we've been moving them around the yard uh, we've been kind of bringing them through the the garden a little bit, but they need a winter home uh, This is going to be way too cold in the winter time, and they're going to need something for winter so that brings us to That brings us back to the camper here um, This would be perfect. It's insulated. Uh, I don't know how well insulated it is, but um, it definitely has more insulation than a, that mobile coop does and if we go through this, if we take out the stove and the sink and this cabinet and then this bank of seats over here, we take out this uh, wall right here where there's uh, bunks behind there. We can take that part out, um, upper cabinets, we can take the doors off, maybe even utilize that for nesting boxes. Um, take, out, uh, take out all of the wall for into the bathroom here. Uh, this pantry, get that taken out. We could even make a wall from the door here coming across and then utilize this area for feed storage um, lots of different options and then we've got a back door here and underneath this back door I shouldn't say underneath the back door but uh, lighting's not real great in here but right down here in the door if I cut a square into there we can have a, a run going out into our chicken run uh, so that the chickens can go outdoors during the day. 
uh, indoors during the night uh, and keep themselves fairly warm. And we can kind of uh, situate this how we want with nesting boxes and feeders and waters and, and all of that kind of stuff. So, so stick around as we convert this camper to a coop. Well, it's been a couple of weeks and the weather has changed. It's getting a little bit chilly out and we've got a lot of snow. But I to give you an update on where we're at with the camper to coop conversion. So, if you remember last time, there was a there was a bathroom that went around right here. We had kitchen cabinets here with the stove, and then we had a bench seating going around over there. Um, and then a bunch of other stuff. So what we've got here now is back up in this hallway, we have some bunks. So what I have to do is take out this, this wall here and then the flat part. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So up here we used to have a bunk here and then this part here will lay down. Um, that's just a frame that we had a, uh, in between here so that we could lay a, a mattress through here. It wasn't designed that way. But there was a mattress there, so technically you'd have three bunks in here. So looking at it from the opposite side, this wall right, this wall right here, we're going to be cutting that off at the floor level and then coming up and then taking care of this flat part and then cutting this wall off. I don't think I'm gonna go up to the ceiling. I think I'm just gonna cut this out back to where the cabinets are and then just cut this straight, straight across, straight up here. And I'm just gonna go at the height of the floor that we were just on. So right here, coming across, what's behind there is a storage compartment. You can access from the outside. You could put chairs and tarps and uh, carpet or that green fake carpet or hoses and cords and all of that kind of stuff when you're camping. Um, but I don't think we're going to gain a lot by cutting that, that part open. So we'll have the same uh, surface area for the floor. So I'm going to get to work cutting.
All right, that's gonna conclude today. We made a little bit of progress. Um, so if we take a look over there, we used to have the, the wall that was going up, coming back, and then up again with our three bunks back there. Now it just kind of comes over, up and back. This frame here, I'm thinking about using as a, a roost, where the, the chickens can roost on there. Uh, I'm going to make it level so that there's not a pecking order type of thing where they're uh, one on top of each other. Everybody's at the same height. Uh, what we have to get done is i got to cover this part here, uh, make sure all of that stuff is enclosed, uh, make sure that we get all of the insulation that the mice have piled up back here. Get that uh, cleaned up, get this vent closed in. Uh, the ceiling vent where the bathroom used to be, we got a little bit of an opening there, so I gotta put a piece of plywood up on the seal on the roof. And then some of the duct insulation like that, and the holes from the toilet, and different areas like that. Um, and then, oh yeah, the silver stuff here, this is insulation that's going over the wheel, wheel wells. Um, I'm gonna try and get that covered up too. If you've ever had chickens, they'll peck at everything. Um, and they're going to be enclosed in here for the third for most of the winter probably it's going to be a lot nicer than outside and we can open up the curtains so that they can have a little bit of natural daylight and sunlight and all of that kind of stuff so all right signing out until next time well ready or not today's moving day for the little layers and i say not because the camper is not completely ready um, but it's close enough to where they're going to be comfortable. Let me show you. So as we come in here, if you remember, when we first started, there was a bathroom that came out over here. Uh, that's actually part of the wall from the shower yet. Um, and then we had the booth over here with a table. We had our kitchen cabinets over here. Uh, and then there was a wall that kind of came up and back towards us in that area And now everything is kind of open. We have wood shavings in here um, Probably gonna have to get some more. There's about two inches right now We have our nesting boxes and there's six of them So that should be plenty for the the amount of chickens that we've got for now um, They do well with sharing <clears throat> this part here uh, that's, this is where the booth was, uh, or is. I didn't have time to get that all completed. So we just kind of made a wall across there for now. Um, and then I'll finish that at a later date. But currently, uh, it's a little bit chilly outside. It was, when I did chores this morning, it was two below. And currently it is about three above. And chickens can handle cold weather quite well. However, uh, the eggs that they're laying, they don't fare so well. Uh, they're good to about 28 degrees. They can stay uh, stay good and they don't crack and all that stuff up down to that. But once we start getting down to the to the zeros here, um, it uh, it affects the it affects the eggs. And then this week, this coming week, they're actually talking about uh, highs are going to be below zero uh, zero degrees Fahrenheit. So um, I don't think it's going to fare too well for the eggs. So Without further ado, we're gonna grab the chickens uh, and then we're gonna put them into the into the camper. All right, so my plan is to put the chickens in this plastic tote. Typically, once they get in here, they, they kind of look around wondering what the heck just happened. Um, and we don't have to really worry too much about the air uh, as I'm gonna have the, the lid is not sealed for one. Uh, and for two, I'll just have it kind of twisted here a little bit um, until we start moving them. Then just to make sure they don't get out, we'll lock the lid. Uh, and then we've only got to go about 20 yards to get to where the, the camper is, so here we go.
you go. Well, apparently my camera doesn't like the cold, just like the rest of us. So I'll take you in there, show you what happened with the chickens. Uh, looks like they're adjusting pretty well. We've got 28 chickens in here, and they seem to be uh, enjoying it. We just got new feed, they've got water. It's still a little chilly in here, but for the most part, they're, uh, they're out of the elements, they're out of the wind, um, and it's insulated in here, so their body heat is gonna give off some heat. I am considering putting a, a red light in here, just kind of a little heat lamp, 250 watt, just to take the edge off if it gets super cold. So um, and we've got some nesting boxes. We put one egg in each of these just to kind of get them, uh, well, we're missing one, but just to kind of give them an idea of what we want them to do. They've never really had a nesting box before, so. Um, and then as they're on their roost here, or on their perch, they can see outside and well, if they're into watching cows, they'll be able to watch the cows as they come up and drink. If the weather warms up out uh, in the near future, uh, or maybe even next towards next spring, my plan is, with the with the chicken run here, uh, I want to make a, a a box that comes out. So it'll end up coming out of this area. This is right behind that vented area is where the refrigerator was. And if I make a box, I can bring that right out into the into this run here, but it's full of snow right now, so they wouldn't want to come out uh, and run in the chicken run anyway, so. And with that, I'm gonna conclude this video. Uh, the coop to camp, camper to coop conversion, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you how pretty it is out here. It's quiet, it's peaceful. Uh, we just recently had some snow uh, and it's still hanging on the trees and the, it's, the animals are, uh, it's cold out here, but without the wind, they're, they're comfortable.